Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Simple Gardening. In this video, we will be looking at seed starting procedures. For any home gardener or a farmer, seed starting is the most important segment for his whole season of crops. Let's see in detail the different types of sowings which are being practiced. The most easiest and common practice of sowing is direct sowing. Whether you sow in raised beds or else in ground or else in containers, you should be careful while you are sowing the seeds. Some precautions need to be taken. Direct sowing can be done for big seeds like cucumbers, beans, sunflower, okra, etc. As the size of the seed is big, it is not required to start seed in a small container and later transplant it. While sowing, we have to remember that the depth of the seed should not be buried not more than two times the size of the seed. For example, you are sowing bean seeds and the size of the seed is like quarter of an inch and you should not uh, bury it not more than half an inch. It has to be lesser than half an inch. Then the seed germination will be quicker and there will be no much stress on the seedling. If you are sure that there will be 99 to 100% of germination, you can put one seed per hole or else you can put one, two or three maximum of seeds in a single hole. Later, if all the seedlings gets germinated, you can snip off unhealthy or thin seedlings and keep the healthy sturdy plant. Once the seeds are sown, cover it with soil lightly, pat it and we have to ensure that the soil moisture is maintained continuously. Water should not be logged in the soil as it might lead to uh, the spoiling of seed. Once you have sown the seed, it's not required to fertilize the uh, soil as it's not required because we are adding compost. So once the seed gets germinated, the seedling will utilize the food from its embryo. Later, the compost will supply the required nutrients to certain extent of its growth. When you have sown the seeds or before germination, don't keep the soil too wet or soggy as heavy moisture will kill the seed and you will not get 100% of germination. The next method of seed starting is through paper towel method. This paper towel method is usually followed for seeds which are minute in size like for example tomato, peppers, uh, kale, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower etc. For this paper towel method we should soak the seeds as per recommended on the label of the packet from 12 hours to 24 hours. If the seeds are soaked for more than the prescribed time there are chances of seed mortality. For this paper towel method, we need a paper napkin or a paper cloth and a Ziploc bag along with the soaked seeds. What we have to do is take the soaked seeds, just spread evenly with a distance of 2 to 3 centimeters between each seed. The distance between each seed should be ensured because once the seeds get germinated, they should not get entangled with each other root system. Now we have to wet the paper towel with some uh, fresh water sprayer and remember this should not be like you know like it should not be very soggy just it has to be moist. The moisture should be very optimum so that there will be no problem of uh, mold or fungi formation due to the mortality of seed. For every different seed we have to select a different uh, paper cloth and we have to do it. Here I have done for tomato seeds and once spraying of water is done and it has to be very optimum and we have to place this uh, paper cloth well folded and put it in a zip locker bag. By this method we are providing favorable conditions for the seed to germinate quicker. If you are living in cold regions then place the zip locker bag on your refrigerator so it maintains the required heat of 85 degrees Fahrenheit or else if you live in a tropical region then place this bag in some cool place so that the seeds will get germinated as soon as possible. Once the seeds are germinated and root is formed we have to transfer those seedlings into a pot or else a seedling tree. Another method of sowing is through peat pellets. These pellets are made from compressed cocoa peat or sphagnum peat moss. 
usually when we add water these gets uh, expanded by absorbing the water and then we can sow the seeds and later once they get into size and we can later transplant it directly into the soil without removing the peat bag i prefer to grow tomato seedlings in these peat bags or peat pellets it's very easy once the seedling attains maybe a 5 inch or 6 inch of height i'll directly transplant the bag into the soil as this is biodegradable we need not worry about the decomposition here i am sowing two or three seeds of tomato and we need to ensure that the seeds are covered slightly and once these are germinated uh, we can directly transplant into our garden or else container but we have to ensure that these has to be continuously moist so what i am doing is i have placed a plate and have put these bags into that and i will be continuously filling it with water though we submerge this pellet bags in water there will be no problem of water logging because the cocoa pit will absorb the water as much as it requires now let us see how to prepare seed starting mix seed starting mix is one of the most important factor for a better germination and a better seedling health the seed starter mix i used here is 80 percent of cocoa peat and 20 percent of vermiculite i did not use any co uh, compost or else any garden soil or red soil because there might be a chance of contamination with fungi or viruses now let us see the important factor called pot sanitation as we recycle the seedling cups or trays so we have to ensure that they are free from old mold or diseases or any sort of mud concentrating on the walls of the pots so what i have done is i have added a little bit of soap in the water and i have soaked these pots for almost half an hour and ensured that it's clean very well later i have washed those pots with fresh water cleaning our seedling pots or else the pots which we had selected for sowing helps prevent diseases or any sort of mold onto the seed here i am filling my pots with the seed starter i have prepared usually i use four inch diameter pots for raising my uh, seedlings so what i do is i select as number of pots i can and i'll be sowing the seeds whatever the plant i need into the pots so usually i will be sowing four to five because this is a four inch diameter pot i'll be sowing four or five seeds in a single pot in this pot i am sowing red capsicum so i have taken six seeds and i'll just spread the seeds onto the uh, soil layer and once i have spread it evenly i'll be maintaining the distance between seed to seed because once they get germinated there will be no chance to move them until and unless you are ready to transplant those seedlings into the main container any type of vegetable seed can be used for germination in the size of cups these are easy they are versatile and it gives more space for the seedling to grow before transplantation if you are preferring a big sized seeds for transplantation you can prefer these cups once you sow the seed cover the seed with a thin layer of seed starter pad the soil and ensure correct optimum moisture is being maintained till the germination as well as till the transplantation of the seedling gardeners usually place these containers in a plate and fill the plate with water so from the drain holes the soil will absorb the moisture you can do it either wise either you can irrigate it through the top or else you can fill the tray with water once the sowing is done always remember to label the pot otherwise we will be forgetting what seeds we have sown in that particular pot so i'll just write a date on the uh, like the seed which has been planted and the variety which i had sown in that cup you can even sow the seeds in seedling trays there are different types with different depths different sizes of seedling trays these are also very versatile here what i am showing is a 1 inch uh, depth seedling tray i had sown brinjal uh, i mean eggplant green variety in this uh, 
a trace. Sewing procedure is as same as I have shown in my previous slides. Just fill the tray with seed starter mix. Uh, place two to three seeds per cavity, and place if you want to moisten this. Before moistening, we need to cover the seed with little bit of seed starter. The seeds should not be exposed to sunlight or else bright light. So we need to cover it with little bit of starter starter mix and press it gently and if you want to irrigate as i have said earlier either place it in a tray fill it with water or else spray with a sprayer bottle from the top it keeps the seedling tray it keeps the seed moist and helps in germination if you are not a well expert in growing seeds then there is an option of purchasing seedlings from nursery here for us the summer season is over and the rains had commenced so in order to start a bit earlier i decided to buy a few seedlings from my local nursery so i had purchased tomatoes and uh, chilies these seedlings are almost uh, four to five week old usually the local nursery guys they grow in one inch depth seedling trays and they feed the plant very well so the seedlings though they are lanky and thin the stem is very hardy and they are ready to transplant however i don't want to transplant in my main containers right now so what i'm going to do is i'll be transplanting these into seed containers and once they attain the age of eight weeks then i'll be transplanting it into my bigger containers purchasing seedlings from nursery saves some time however i'll be sowing my seeds within a week and now i'll be showing you how i'm transplanting this tomato plants into a four inch diameter seed cup though the stem of the plant is hard and are ready to transplant but i don't want because i want the stem girth to be more so that once i transplant into the main container fruiting and flowering will be quicker as well as i am planting the tomato plant up to the half of the plant because wherever the stem gets contact with the soil there will be a chance of root growth from that part of the plant in these cups I'll be transplanting uh, two or three plants in a single cup because it doesn't matter since it has more growing space and I'll be keeping in these pots for another two or three weeks maximum. So anyways, I'll be giving uh, fertilizer as well as water. So the competition will be minimized between each plant. Once the seedling attains eight weeks age, I'll be transplanting this. See here you can see I have planted two seedlings per cup. And if the pot size is a bit bigger, I have planted even four to five. It doesn't matter because once they are ready for transplantation, I'll be carefully entangling the roots and a little bit of root injury helps the plant to grow better. After transplanting these in seed cups, I will not place the seedlings in direct sunlight because uh, till now they have grown in a shady place at the nursery. So now if I place it in direct sunlight, uh, the plants might get sunburn. After I move these cups into sunlight, I will ensure at least a minimum of four hours of direct sunlight. And regarding watering, if the temperatures are high or else the soil gets dried up, then it's required to water. Since the cups I have used are bigger in size, so frequent waterings are not required. So uh, with my experience, uh, I'll be watering every two days once or else three days once that will be sufficient for the plant to survive while growing the seedlings if you find any sort of pest or diseases then there is always a solution neem oil just spray it once a week or else twice a week depending upon the pest infestation then your seedlings will be protected and within a period of six to eight weeks they will be ready to transplant now let us see how to feed the seedlings for feeding my seedlings i either use seaweed kelp seaweed extract or else fish fertilizer now i'm using a uh, kelp solution this is uh, very beneficial for the plants to grow 
and it improves the root development as well as the seedling growth and basically this solution contains uh, macronutrients of nitrogen phosphorus potassium as well as it contains all the micronutrients also but while you are using for younger seedlings uh, i am using only half concentrated solution means the recommended dosage for per liter of water is 5 ml but i am taking this fertilizer 5 ml and adding it in 2 liters of water so i am making the concentration half since this feeding solution is uh, diluted uh, more than it's recommended so it doesn't harm the plants however they supply the nutrients required for the young seedlings at this stage and uh, it's not required to give once in a week see for example if i have fed my plants today then after 10 or 14 days i'll be again feeding this or else if the seedlings by the time if they are ready for transplantation then i'll be directly transplanting it into the main container as i said the seedlings are 5 weeks old i will ensure to keep these in pots for another 2 uh, and 1/2 to 3 weeks by the time the seedlings will be completely developed and will be ready for transplantation so if you are a new gardener and if you want to try your luck with starting your seeds then go ahead follow these procedures or else you can purchase your seedlings from local nursery so friends that's it for today thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel as well as like share comment to my video thanks for watching have a nice day